Ariel Foster from Boston, the Dorchester area, was a Star Trek athlete in high school when she graduated from the Boston Arts Academy, class of 2022. She stayed in her hometown for college when she committed to LaSalle University's women's track team and decided to study criminal justice. Ariel is pretty talented in track. She broke the school's record in the 60 meter dash as well as the 200. She's been competing all season at LaSalle, performing so well her freshman year that she attracted attention from local media, who wrote about her a few weeks ago after she received her third Rookie of the Week recognition from the Great Northeast Athletic Conference. Ariel credited NCAA sprinter Shikari Richardson of LSU as her inspiration, telling reporters, quote, I want to be like her, just even younger. Shikari Richardson, she's been embarrassing herself for a couple of years now in public. She's known for not following rules, but Shikari has never been accused of stealing over a half million dollars to splurge on luxury handbags, cars, and exotic vacations. That's what 19-year-old Ariel Foster was arrested for, totally destroying her chance of ever competing anywhere again. Her track career certainly over before she could really get started. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from the Boston Metro, definitely let me know below. Ariel Foster was recruited last year by LaSalle track and field coach Ben Biello, also known as Coach Ben. Coach Ben said Ario could have competed Z1, but she wanted to balance more of a D3 career, and of course, she was crushing it at the D3 level. The 19-year-old got up every morning for practice that started at 6 a.m. She said it was her coach that motivated her to wake up so early in the morning because she knew that he was going to help her get to where she wanted to be. Coach Ben said her work ethic was one of the most talented things he's ever seen. Even when she was having family issues and she had to go off campus, she still completed her workout on her own. Coach Ben called her a goal-getter. She loved setting goals and making things happen. One goal was to get a Tesla before she turned 20 years old, and she achieved that goal just days before she and Coach Ben sat down for this interview. That was in February 2023. Ariel bragged about how she was able to buy her dream car, saying that she worked so hard at her two jobs to be able to afford it, and even laid out plans to customize the car to the news reporter. She said, quote, right now it's red, but I'm gonna wrap it pink, like a soft pink, nothing too bright, and then the interior's white will be pink, and then I'm actually gonna get it tinted tomorrow. Ariel went from openly speaking on her Tesla customization and being a star rookie on the track team, a key member that coach Ben planned to build his program around for the next couple of years, to being kicked off the track team completely. Ariel is known as a hard worker to those close to her. She says she had two jobs while attending school and running track. In high school, she got a job at a popular retail store, Journeys then later used her experience there to land a job at Lovisa, a fashion jewelry brand that offers affordable on-trend pieces, basically costume jewelry. She eventually became a sales manager at the store in the Burlington Mall. This is where police say Ariel refunded over $547,000 in eight transactions. An investigation determined that on three dates in February, item scans at the register had their price increased. And then the full cost of that item, with the increased price, was then allegedly refunded to a credit card belonging to Ariel. She was also present at the store at the same time all of these transactions took place. Lovisa obviously had a broken system that allowed Ariel to do this and didn't alert upper management. It was her co-worker who saw a $1 million order that Ariel placed in the system and forgot to clear it out. Remember, this is a store where the items range from $5 to no more than about $50. And $50 is the top price there, very high. How could a $1 million order be entered in the system and not alert anybody? So Ario forgot to remove that out of there. The co-worker caught it and blew the whistle. When investigators checked her bank account, they said she purchased a Tesla for more than $35,000. She spent more than $20,000 on a hotel in Hawaii almost $6,000 on Delta Airline tickets, and nearly $5,000 at Louis V. A local college student is under arrest, charged in an elaborate scheme, and accused of stealing a half million dollars from her employer at a local mall. And tonight, police say she used that money to buy a Tesla 
and a trip to Hawaii. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka. David and Lisa are off tonight. Investigators say the 19-year-old used returns at the Burlington store where she worked to refund the money to her credit card. WBZ's Julie McDonald is live in Newton, where she was arrested. Julie. Well, Chris, investigators had obtained search warrants for the 19-year-old's Boston address as well as her dorm here on campus. She was arrested here at school. In a statement to WBZ, LaSalle University confirmed that they are aware of the arrest and cooperating with police as students' responsibility to obey the law applies both on and off campus. Pretty amazing that uh somebody would have the gumption to do what she did and, and not expect to get caught. Ariel Foster did get caught and will face a judge Friday for her alleged credit card scam. Police say the LaSalle University track athlete ran away with more than half a million dollars from her part-time job at an affordable jewelry store inside the Burlington Mall. If one of my children came home and said, hey, they have enough money to buy a Tesla while they're trying to go to school, that's certainly going to raise those flags for me. Investigators say that over three weeks in February, Foster allegedly made eight fake transactions totaling more than $540,000. She would have an item in the store that she would mark up overpriced and then she would return the difference onto um, a credit card that she owned in her name. As for where the money went, police say Foster spent 5000 on a Louis Vuitton purse, 6000 on plane tickets, $20,000 for a hotel in Maui, and bought that $35,000 Tesla seen around campus. You would think that a refund of a costume jewelry transaction should not allow you to buy a $5,000 Louis Vuitton purse. David Levenberg is a mall and retail security expert. He says this case highlights major flaws in the LaVisa system. The scam should have sounded alarms before an alert coworker noticed a million dollar transaction that Foster had failed to clear out. They look for opportunities. They look for loopholes. They look for weaknesses. And if they find one, they will take advantage of it. That's just the, the nature of the beast in, uh, in retail and a lot of other uh, industries that if there's money involved and there's the potential for somebody to benefit from that, they're going to find a way. So the 19-year-old was arrested yesterday, Wednesday. She'll be in court in Woburn tomorrow, Friday, charged with larceny over $1,200. If found guilty, she could spend up to five years in state prison. Live in Newton tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Police searched a home in Boston, as well as Ariel's dorm room. That's where they collected more evidence. Ariel says she loved running track because it humbles you. She said you will think that you're the best and then another girl will come up and you will be in second place. That showed her there's always room for improvement. This may be a humbling experience for Ariel, but also an embarrassing one. She was arrested on the school's campus on Wednesday, March 8th. They wasted no time kicking her off the track team and even removed her from their website right away. She went from being the top girl on the team to possibly never competing again. So Ariel, she was arrested. She was charged with felony larceny. The penalty for larceny in Massachusetts can vary from probation to jail time. It all depends on the circumstances of the offense and your record. Ariel doesn't have a record from my knowledge. She could get probation or end up getting jail time. If she's sent to jail, she could face up to five years in state prison or a $25,000 fine and up to two years in state prison. Just so much here, you have a talented young woman who threw away everything just to scam and live a lifestyle that she thought she deserved. She wanted a Tesla before she turned 20 years old. She thought that she needed to buy Louis V bags when you have full grown women that's worked their whole lives making 50, 70, $100,000 a year and never purchased a Louis V bag, never spent $6,000 on plane tickets to Hawaii or never spent $20,000 on a hotel. And the friends that she took on that trip with her and she paid for the trip, I wonder if they knew anything about her scamming. The fact that she believed she needed all of that and then tricked herself and everyone else around her into thinking that somehow she worked hard for all of this is just unbelievable. She was working hard all right, working hard at stealing over a half million dollars from her job while on the job. Ariel talked about how she learned about managing expectations when she was interviewed a few weeks back, but it doesn't seem like she managed expectations at all. 
She wanted to live an Instagram life, wanted to be well known one day. That's why she said she wanted to be like Shikari. She wanted attention and brand deals, but instead Ari was getting attention and possibly plea deals. And I don't know, it was her dream to become a younger version of Shikari Richardson and maybe she's done that because this is the biggest L that I've seen somebody in track take outside of Shikari. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. This young lady went from rising track star to scammer. Let me know what you think about all of this below. Special thank you to Marcus, our sisters Queen Smoke, and Jewelbox, Dark Power, and John C. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.